What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for the very first episode of a new series that I am calling 3 to T. So, um, took a little bit of a break. I am back with a little bit of a revamped um, setup in a new series that I want to test out. So the way this is going to work is I am attempting to play every single course within GS Pro. Whether I can do that or not, we'll see. But the way this is going to work, 3 to T, as the name implies, I'm going to be playing three holes for every single course, mainly the first hole, the ninth hole, and the 18th hole. And um, throughout the week, whether I post one or two videos or I post seven videos every single day, by the end of the week, whatever video has the most amount of views, I'm going to come out and ideally do a live stream for that one individual course for a full 18-hole gameplay. Um, still testing out, that was part of the reason why I took a break too, still testing out what I need to do and what I need to get out here to do a live stream. Um, but if not, if I can't figure that out and if it things won't allow me to do it, at least for the time being, I'll just record a regular 18-hole round for whatever um, video gets the most views. So if you guys like any of these particular courses, um, great way to get some extra views if you guys want a certain course to be picked is just to uh, like the video, comment, share it, um, subscribe, all those things, just any kind of engagement helps. And um, I really value your guys' time um, of watching some of these videos. So I'm going to edit these down even more on top of playing the three holes. So shorting things up a little bit and uh, cut out some of the kind of in-between time of me grabbing a drink or whatnot. But for the very first episode, we are playing. It's actually a course I played two times before. Last time before I took a break about two weeks ago, I tried playing this course twice. The first time um, I loaded it up and there were, there were phantom reads on the first hole. So I hit a tee shot and there was a uh, random, random misread that put me into the water. So I had to restart everything, restart my computer, restarted the R10, GS Pro, everything. And then I did it again and there was an error with the uh, screen recording. So I kind of just gave up. But this is a course I've really been looking forward to uh, playing and showing you guys. This is called Outpost 87. Um, of course, a uh, made up course, but we're in a dome, which is awesome. Futuristic course in the Outer Territories United Citizen Federation. The course designer on this one is R. Dyer. So, um, like I said, keeping these short and sweet without further ado, um, I do just want to show you guys real quick. If I pan over here, I know the video's over there. Every one of these tee boxes, I was doing this when I played this uh, a couple weeks ago, every one of these tee boxes has a really cool marker and they have like a futuristic hover card over there, which is pretty darn awesome. And like I said, we're in a dome. Um, there's a whole background, basically. I uh, was talking about that in the first first two times I tried to do it. I had to repeat myself and ended up not being able to use any of the footage, which is unfortunate. But basically, whoever made this, it was a uh, futuristic uh, war of the arachnids or the spiders. And uh, basically, they used uh, a military outpost, they said, because the, uh, the emperor was a big fan of uh, 21st century golf. So that's kind of the background of this futuristic course. But take a look at the first hole. Again, like I said, playing the first, the ninth, and the 18th. Um, and let's take a look at the flyover together. So first hole, par 4, 391. Sprinklers going. Dome, we got some trees inside. Waterfall with some rocks behind. Pretty straightforward hole by the looks of it. There is water in front, so kind of a split fairway, but I don't think I'll be able to reach that off the tee shot. Um, I'm just playing the course recommended settings, so here we go with driver on the first. I'm gonna aim up here. See what we can do. Oh that's pulled up the left and I aimed left. Not terrible, 102.3 wasn't the quickest, but decent ball speed, contact felt good. I just closed down my stance a little bit and uh, kind of pull hooked it left. That was a pretty sizable draw on top of it from what the Garmin had, but leaves us with um, 114. I know the green's kind of blocked out. We're behind this tree. 114 up about uh, three yards, so we'll call it 117. It's going to come out a little bit right, run a little bit of a down slope, and the rough is going to be 6%. So, um, need to add about five, six yards to this. So, we're in the neighborhood of about 120 total. I'm going to aim a little bit over here just because we got that tree. Hopefully, I can get up and over it. I'm just going to go approach wedge. Like I mentioned at the beginning, I figured these shorter style videos, I'm testing them out. Worst case scenario, I just go back to the full 18 hole gameplay, but um, great way for you guys to see a bunch of the GS Pro courses for me to play through them, um, pick out some of my favorites on top of it. And like I said, um, whatever video gets the most views, um, 
going to be doing a uh, full 18 hole gameplay on top of that. So, approach wedge. Contact felt pretty good. Oh, we clipped the tree. Wow, that would have been really good if we didn't hit the tree. I heard a very little bit of the, uh, the branch noise. All right, bogey on the first one, heading over to nine as we fly over. The goal here is for me to go through these three holes as close to even, if not a couple under I can, but the goal is par in every single hole. So unfortunately, tree trouble there. That was a really good strike from the approach wedge, but um, starting off with a bogey. So ninth hole, par four, 476. Let's look at the fly over here. Waterfall still in the background. This is a longer one. Slight dog leg right as we're flying up this... Uh, flyover seems to be going a bit slower but that happens with the longer holes so I'm gonna aim up the left again hopefully I don't pull it and draw it as much as a drone flying over there I'm gonna aim up here to the left and hopefully get a little bit of that baby fade working back but lame there driver Well, that one's definitely up the right. That was high in the face. Club face was open. Should have aimed a little bit further left. That was kind of a high fly ball. Not going to go super far, but 263 on a total. Um, 106, swung that one quicker, but only 148 because of the high, somewhat toey miss hit. But leaves us with 207 left out of the rough. Um, just completely flat lie down here. So nothing to worry about there. And 207.8, so call it 208. 6% um, in the rough, 10% would be 20, so need about another 10 yards on this. So we're looking at 218 total. We'll aim over here. Again, we got a little bit of tree trouble. Um, what am I going to hit? Try the 5 iron. <sighs> Toey. Chunky started left, fading back. That's gonna be short. All right, bunker shot through that tree. I don't know if we caught that. I don't think so because the carry from the Garmin was 187, 188 in the game, but we were, were out of the rough. Um, 191 total. Not my best uh, five iron strike there, but leaves us with 17.2 yards, up about a yard out of this bunker, which is gonna play greenside bunker 25%. So it's gonna be a 60 degree, and I need. 18 and then call it another four yards so about 22 total green sloping from right to left it's going to come out right as well at least we're on a little bit of an upslope so it actually might be all right if we aim here it's going to come out right but then if it lands it should push the ball back from right to left so right there is good i could probably even go right at it but let's see what we can do here with the 60 degree out of the bunker i have a feeling this is a, possibly the coolest course, possibly my favorite course I've ever played with in GS Pro. I have a feeling for this week's um, video, for the most views, this one may take the cake and I may be playing a full 18 hole round here, but that's up to you guys, whatever, whatever video gets. Again, like I said, the most views, I'll be doing a full 18 hole gameplay, so. May need to go just a little. All right, we got that to work, go in. Oh, just short. Par, we'll take that. Over to the 18th in our third and final hole here for the first ever 3 to T series, video in the series. We got, we're still one over through two, so third and final hole here. See if we can maybe scrape out a birdie, get back to even. 18th hole, par four, 413 yards. Take a look at the flyover. We got some sizable water up the left. The river running all the way to the right. There is a cool range here. You can see kind of that football field over there, driving range. There's some games too that you can do. So we got water mostly all along the right. Take note of that. And we'll aim up this left side again over here. See what we can do with the driver. It is worth noting if, obviously, if I play a course like TPC Sawgrass can't play that without playing the 17th so if there are any real signature holes that aren't the first the ninth or the 18th i'll probably switch one of those out but 
probably vast majority of them will just be the first, the ninth, and the eighteenth. And the thought behind that was, um, most of the time, especially the courses around here that I play, most of the scenic, kind of picturesque uh, signature holes for the course are on those those holes. So. Oh, that's pulled up the left again. Really far left. That was straight off the toe. Hopefully that's not out of bounds. Well, I'm shutting my stance down, shutting the face down, but that was a pretty sizable draw again and a pull. We got 153.3 on the ball speed, 102.8. Didn't swing at the quickest, but 279 total, and we're in tree trouble again. So where are we going? This is going to have to get lucky. I mean, I could just lay up out here to the right, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this tree, I'd have to start it perfectly between those two trees. Unfortunately, I think this is the play out here, so I'm going to have to aim out this way, I believe, right about, right about there, so that's 87 right there, up about a yard, and then out of the rough, probably need about 95, so I'm going to go punch 8 iron. Ooh, well that's 150. So I do the marker. I don't know why sometimes GS Pro does that. It's gonna come out a little bit right around a down slope. But yeah, punch eight iron back out into play. Don't know if we'll be getting a birdie on this one, but. Almost shanked it off the hosel. That would be fine, but that was a pretty terrible shot. At least we're back in play. That was partially off the hosel. That felt and sounded terrible. That any closer to the hosel, that would have been outside of the net. But we are back in play. It's a possibility. I mean, we have to hold this, obviously, to get a birdie. But inside the inner circle, we can get at least get a par and do with one over. So we've got 94.8, call it 95, up a yard, so 96. And we're in the rough. So that will be another six yards. So... And come out a little bit left. We're looking at just over a hundred. Gonna go approach wedge. Hopefully we can get this done. Chunked it. Came out left. Go! At least get on the green. Nope. Might have to chip this. Alright, we are battling here. So 10 yards out of the rough, at least we're on an upslope. Green looks like it's sloping, at least past the cup, pretty hard from left to right, but I'm just gonna try to land this soft right around 10, nine, 10 yards of carry, because it's up almost a yard and then out of the rough. Should be in the neighborhood of pretty good. So we'll aim about there. Worth noting, I haven't played a ton. You can probably hear and see some of those doors going up and down with like the alien robot looking things back there. Pretty cool AI caddies, but haven't played a ton in my little bit of a golf and YouTube break, so. May need to sit just a little bit. Yeah, long left. That's gonna probably be a double. Oh, it's still going. All right, double bogey there, unfortunately. So, for the first ever video, um, ended up with a bogey on one par on 9 and a double on 18 to bring us to 3 over for the first ever video but hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, I'm going to wrap this one up um, like I said whatever whatever video we'll see what you guys think of this new series whatever video ends up getting the most views throughout the week from Monday to Sunday again whether I post one or two videos throughout that week and then you, there's only two to I guess pick from for the 18 hole round or if I post one every single day so it'll be the most viewed video out of seven um, figure it's a cool way for you guys to get engaged in the channel um, give me some input and uh, for me to play around in different courses you guys to see different courses and uh, still incorporate gotta get back to editing and posting a few more on course videos and still um, with that live stream and or just a uh, full length video that I end up posting later on still get that full gameplay if you guys like to see me uh, out here struggling throughout 18 holes rambling to myself and um, talking through a bunch of different shots and kind of swing thoughts and whatnot but hopefully you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys at the next course